So you got this computer, but it's beeping like crazy. What's going on? Is it broken? Nothing's happening on screen. Well, don't worry. This is actually a pretty common problem. It's got a pretty easy solution, too. So if you follow along, you can have your computer back up and running in no time. First things first, the beep code. Every computer manufacturer has a different beep code to indicate problems on the system. So if your beep code matches this pattern, it's definitely RAM. So now that we're certain that it's a RAM problem, we can start the solution. Start by unplugging everything from the back of the system. Get it up on a table or desk where you can work on it. Be sure that you keep your monitor and keyboard nearby to test. This will save you some time. You'll also need a standard sized Phillips screwdriver. Without anything plugged in, push the power button on the computer. You might see a light flash or a fan spin for a second, but that's normal. It's dissipating any additional electricity that might be in the unit. Now we can safely open the case. That's right, we're going to open it up. So grab your screwdriver and find the two screws on the side. After removing them, the side door should just slide right off. Remember that not all cases will be constructed the same. Some cases have latches or levers that allow the door to be removed without screws. So take your time and inspect your system carefully. And never, never force it open. After it's opened up, the inside should look something like this. Depending on your manufacturer, parts might be in different spots, but what we need to find is the RAM. Oh, there it is. RAM is easily identifiable from its universal ruler-like design. Every stick of RAM looks just about the same. It looks like there's two in here. We'll need to test both. So before you go reaching in there, we need to make sure that you aren't carrying any static electricity. This is more common in the winter months when it's dry outside. You can ground yourself by touching any large metal object or frame. And with that done, we're ready to remove the RAM. Take note where they're located. Taking a picture with your cell phone always helps. There are two tabs that hold the RAM in place. Poke them down and it should lift right up. After that, you can lift them out of the system. Lay them out in the order that you found them. We'll be testing them one at a time. Great so far, but here comes the tricky part. RAM needs to be placed in a certain order on the motherboard. The RAM slot on the outside edge is always the first one to use, typically the right side. Press down firmly and make sure that the latches are secure. If you get lost, consult the picture that you took with your phone earlier. You don't strictly need a monitor and keyboard for this next step, but it's always a help to have visual confirmation. Without touching anything else on the inside, plug your computer in and turn it on. Hear any beeps? If you don't, power off and power cycle the system like before. If you do hear beeps, double check that the RAM is in the right slot and securely fastened. Then, test all of the sticks the exact same way. If you tried this method and found that one of the sticks caused the beeps, congratulations, you found the problem. If none of the sticks caused the beeping, try them how they were originally. It's possible that they were just loose. So congratulations, you fixed your computer all by yourself. Then take your bad stick, use the information on the stick to order a replacement, mark it with a marker, and recycle it properly. Remember that if you did everything in this video and you're still having problems, you can always get a hold of us and we're always ready to help. Thanks for watching, thanks for your patience, and happy computing.